Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Thursday. It's drunk pokeroo time. It is beer time. It's beer time outside because it's nice out and I'm not sitting inside when it's nice out. I don't know about you, but as soon as that temperature hits a certain, you know, 14, 15, I'm outside. Uh, lots of work to do, but I thought I'd take a break and, uh, and tell you a little story about last night. Uh, so 8.30 last night, I'm sitting watching TV with Mrs. Pokeroo, just another Thursday, Wednesday night. I'm going to, you know, probably grab a beer and go sit downstairs, watch the hockey game. And I just didn't want to do that. So I looked up what time Bellwoods was open till Toronto, and it was 11 o'clock. So I hopped in the car. Only took less than an hour to get there. Went to Bellwoods, picked up a bunch of beer for me and a couple for some friends. Folly Brew Pub was close by. Stopped in there, picked up one of everything they had, and then I came home. I was home in two hours. So, you know, little tiny beer run sometimes yields great results. Ten new beers, um, which is amazing. So today we're going to open this one up and then have a little talk about this weekend and untapped and a thousand beers. But uh, this is Boogie Monster, double IPA, 8%. One of my favorite things in the world is a big double IPA. Now, this is my glass of water. Again, you remember the other day we talked about hydrating. Um, I just finished, you know, mowing the lawn and working in the gardens. And I don't jump right into a beer now. I used to. I'd be three beers deep by now. So, you know, it's a big change. Got to make sure you hydrate. Uh, this is going to be my next hour. I get to relax and enjoy it and then, you know, back to work. But uh, let's get into it. I did enjoy the trip out to Bellwoods. It was lots of fun. Um, such a random thing to do sometimes, but that, that's what I, I like to do that. Uh, you know, I'm, I, I don't want to be stuck doing nothing. That is a beautiful color. Uh, it's hard to see probably with the light, but uh, it smells tropical. I love a good tropical smell. Let's get into it. Cheers. Cheers to, to summer coming. <sighs> that's worth the drive. Man, that's good. Dang. So, again, IPA, right? You get your... And these guys make some ridiculous IPAs, you know, Roman Candle. Uh, I've got, uh, you know, Witch Shark in the fridge, which I'm going to get to this weekend. Um, but, you know, there's a big dankness there, a nice uh, grapefruity pineapple flavor. The grapefruit's more on the back, so it's very dry and, and bitter. Not a huge pine? Oh, well, wait. Yeah, there's some pine there too. Um, I'm getting more of the tropical fruits. There's a little bit of mango sweetness, a nice small body. You know what? It's a damn fine IPA. It's worth an hour's drive if you ask me. Um, so this is beer number, I believe, 994 on my untapped list. Um, you know, when I started drinking beer and started sort of, you know, exploring beer, let's not say drinking beer because I've been drinking beer for a long time. When I started exploring beer with untapped, it was more to get badges, you know, and we were pounding shitty beers and and, you know, we grabbed the occasional craft beer just to, to sort of up our numbers. And then it became more about the beer and about tracking the beer and about, you know, exploring beer flavors. And then, so, you know, I probably crossed a thousand beers in reality because, you know, when I was hammered and I forget to log in beers, you know, that's one of the hazards of being a macro logger pounder is that you uh, forget yourself and you black out and you, you forget to log your beers. But uh, for me, it's not, uh, it's not the number. I mean, what the number represents to me is that, exploration of beer that leaving behind my, um, you know, verging on alcoholic, uh, crazy, just pounding Bravo light one after the other, after the other days. So, you know, I'm not sitting here and telling you that I'm better than anybody else and nobody should ever tell you that those thousand beers represent to me a journey from crap to craft to, to amazing beer. And I'm going to celebrate it this weekend on Sunday. Absolutely. I am because it's important to recognize that journey. You know, I mean, I can appreciate big beers like this because I couldn't do that before. So, you know, get yourself the app, um, whether you use Untapped or Beer Advocate or whichever one you use. You know, use it to track your beers because, it, 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 A, it's good to make sure, you know, you, if you've had it before, if you haven't had it before, that's excellent too. But it gives you milestones, it gives you goals. And to me, hitting a 1,000 means that, you know, I've just started this uh, amazing journey 
Uh, it's beautiful outside. This summer's going to be incredible with just, I'm, I'm sure, just an explosion of, of, you know, sours and saisons and big IPAs and anything I can get my hands on as I, I pass a thousand and go on there. But uh, again, it doesn't make anybody a better beer drinker. It makes you a better beer drinker if you take your time and enjoy your beer. So whether you're at 10 beers or 100 beers or 1,000 beers or, or you know, I've seen guys at over 4,000, 5,000 beers and that blows me away. I didn't think I'd ever get to a thousand. I mean, that's it's insane that, that you know. Here's a guy that I almost only ever drank one beer. You know, I'd get a treat every once in a while with a Stella or a Trois or a Harp, and that that was it. You know, I'd only drink Bravo Light or Lakeport Light or before that Canadian or Coors Light. So there was never a time when I, I chased beers like I do now. Like last night when I hop in the car and I go for a drive for two hours just to pick up some new beers because why not? You know, it's part of the fun. Spontaneous beer journeys are the best thing because the reward at the end of it is a delicious beer. So uh, follow along on Instagram. We'll be hitting it this weekend. I know, like I said, 993. We're seven new beers away from 1,000. It's it's pretty exciting for me personally. Um, that's all it is. It's, it's a real cool milestone to hit. Uh, so thank you, Bellwoods, for being part of that last 10 before we hit 1,000. I have no idea what beer I'm going to do for 1,000. Anybody got a suggestion? Leave it in the comments below. Email me. I'm really stuck. I've got some new Bellwoods, some Folly Brewing. Um, you know, there's some some other new stuff in the fridge, but uh, it's pretty exciting for me. So, cheers to the long weekend. It's May 2 4 up here in Canada. I believe Memorial Day down in the States. Have a good time. Remember, raise your glass, raise your standards. I'm the Drunk Poker. Cheers. Oh, that's delicious.